really by accident I got into this whole idea of creating what turned into Chelsea Pierce. I had a daughter who, who later went to Yale, who was a really good figure skater, and I was up in the morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, or earlier, on the ice at 5 o'clock in the morning with her. And pretty soon the people at this run-down, lousy rink in New York said, well, why don't you, uh, we, we need help, why don't you, we're creating, we're, how, why don't you go on the board, or why don't you chair the board, or whatever. So I said, okay. So I, <coughs> I start, this is not for profit, I was doing all these other things, and I started on the board. and. Um, um, I fired the guy who was running it, I cleaned it up, I did all kinds of stuff, and suddenly it went from being a basket case to, to making money. We ran it very efficiently, it was a, it was a good product, people love sports, they love to play hockey and all through the middle of the night, and uh, all through the whole night. And um, so then, I, and then the landlord was uh, based in Boston, and they had no interest in uh, extending our lease. They wanted to turn it into office space. This is on 33rd Street in New York. So that meant, sent me scurrying around, looking around in the city for spaces with column-free space. A rink needs about 20,000 square feet column-free space. This doesn't exist. We looked at rooftops. We looked everywhere. We had lots of different ideas, but we couldn't find anything. And then finally, somebody said, go down to this old uh, dilapidated pier called Pier 61. It's one of the Chelsea piers. So I went down there and I walked into this thing and it was like, I was, I was with, a, it was owned by the state of New York, I was with the Department of Transportation, I was with a guy and it was about, it's, it's about 120 feet wide and 990 feet long, <coughs> column free, falling in, the roof is falling in, it's just a total mess, windowless. And so the guy from this, so I turned to the guy from the state and said, this is perfect. <laughs> and he said, are you kidding me? And so that started a conversation with the state. I went up to the state and uh, I, I negotiated uh, 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 the price, the start date, all this kind of stuff. Then we got to the term. And I said, I, you know, I don't really, I've never done this, but I think I need at least 20 years. And they're like, 20 years? Um, the longest we can do is a month. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay, let's say I had a huge first month. I'm still in trouble here, you know, so that's not going to work. So they said, well, the only way to get this, to get more than a month is to, um, is to auction the property. I can't just sole source it to you. You've got to auction the property, and that requires uh, the governor, who was then Cuomo, father of our current governor, and that requires a decision from him. So I went back to New York. I went to all the local community groups. I started, I had big drawings, I was just sharing my idea, just to build the rinks. I wanted 100,000 square feet. And at the end of the meetings, people would say, well, what can I do? I said, well, call the governor, tell Cuomo. So pretty soon, I had tons and tons of people uh, pestering Cuomo, and Cuomo said, well, all right, fine, we'll, 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 we'll auction the property. So then the property, uh, it took about three months to get the auction document. I thought it should, should have taken the next day, you know? And when I got the auction document, it now, it wasn't 100,000 square feet, it was 1.6 million square feet. That's what was being auctioned. And I was like, oh, for Christ's sakes. I, I'm just trying to build a better place for my daughter to figure skate, and now this thing has gotten completely out of hand. <laughs> so the long and short of it is we gave a lot of thought to what else might be missing in New York in terms of competitive athletics. And we incorporated uh, our past, my past, in the film business. We put in sound stages. We put in massive athletic facilities. We had to raise all the money. We had to get, it's city, state, and federal. It's, it's a, in the city, so that bring, brought in all the city agencies. It's state owned, that brought in the state agencies, and it's on a federal waterway. So I had 27 different agencies that I had to get through to make this happen. But somehow we did all that. And it, it has become, Chelsea Piers has become probably the busiest place in New York. We get four million people a year, and we have for about 15 years now. Um, we employ 2,000 people. You know, it's, it's a, people have built it into their lives. They've incorporated it into their lives, and it's been an incredible amount of fun. And, um, and now we're doing another one. We found an old Clairol plant on, uh, uh, just off Route 95 in Stanford that we are converting into a Chelsea Piers, smaller 
but all athletics. In New York, we have the war fund. This is not the, Stanford is, doesn't have any water, and it's, there's no banquet halls, and there's no sound stages, just pure sports. So we, we, we're very optimistic that that's um, going to work. <laughs>